Dermlite DL3N. The DL3N comes standard with a discharger. The only method of charging with this unit is the discharger, so it needs to be returned to the discharger for charging. Let's look at the features of the DL3N. On off button is on the side. One press turns it on. One press will always turn it on in polarized mode. By pressing the button again, the button by the way is this one here, by pressing the button again, you can toggle between polarized and non-polarized mode. Polarized mode is the usual mode for looking at skin lesions, takes away any reflection or glare and gives you better color definition. Non-polarized mode is used sometimes for lesions, for example, seborrheic keratosis, that are easier to look at under non-polarized light. On the other side of the handle where my thumb is, this turns on what we call pigment boost. You can see the orange LEDs. The orange LEDs put a natural skin tone back into the picture that sometimes the white LEDs can wash out color. So this gives you a more natural light. This has nothing to do with actual diagnosing. It's really just a personal preference. When using the derm light, wind out the spacer to the large center line. This is the perfect place to start from. Make contact with, with the skin and the, and the uh, contact plate. Take your head right down to the lens. Then focus for your own vision to have a good look at the lesion. Once you've finished using the DL3N, clean the contact plate with an alcohol swab. When it's dry, just buff that with a dry lens cloth. The contact plate can't be removed on the DL3N, so cleaning it is essential. It doesn't have any disposable covers, so once again, make sure it's been cleaned at the end of use.